So as you can see, we're now running Metamod version 1.19. So that's perfect. Now it's running. So we're just going to close this. Now the next step we need to do is install AMX mod. So we're going to go back up to the C Strike folder. We're going to go back into add ons. And we're going to make a new folder and name it AMX Mod X. Okay, and then we're just going to go back to our add ons here. We're going to take AMX Mod X installer. Now, you'll probably just want to install it wherever, uh, like on the wherever the default sends it to. Um, however, I've already installed this on my computer once, so I'm going to install it once again in a different zone this time. So I'm just going to drop mine in disk E, and it should make an AMX Mod X folder all on its own. So we're just going to go next and let that install. And once it's finished installing, a new window should open up to actually install it on the game. So we're just going to hit finish, and as you can see, it's already checkmarked to run AMX Mod X installer. So we're just going to finish, then it'll run this installer. We're going to click next, accept the terms in the license agreement. And we're going to want to go to select mod directory. That way we can control where it's installed to. So mine is, con is installed on my disk E under Half-Life Server Tutorial. So I'm going to open that folder. And then you're going to want to make sure you highlight C-Strike and select the game. So we're going to do Counter-Strike and hit OK. So an AMX Mod X installation was already detected. If you choose to reinstall, your configuration files will be erased. Click yes to continue, no to upgrade, or cancel to abort the install. So I haven't changed any configuration settings yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit yes. Now the installation is finished, so we're just going to click finish, and then we're going to go back into the folder. So I'll just minimize this, and we'll reopen this just to make sure it updates. So if we go into the AMX Mod X folder, as you can see, there's now some extra folders in here. For example, there's the configs folder. Now that AMX Mod X is installed, what we're going to do is go back to the front once again and open Half-Life Dedicated Server. Then we're going to go over to the console. And as you can see here, menu item 18 added to menus front end. Plug in menu.amxx. So obviously AMX is running, so that's good. So now we're going to close this. And we're going to fix that problem we had earlier with the Steam server. So because my client is non Steam, what you're going to want to do is go back up to the C Strike folder, go into add ons, and make a new folder called dproto. Then just go inside of that folder and then go back to your folder which contains all your add ons. We're going to extract dproto now. So we'll just extract it here for now. Okay, and we're going to take the. We're going to go into the bin folder here. We want Windows. And we're going to copy the DLL. Or actually, we can just drag and drop it. So we're just going to drop it into the add ons dproto folder. And then we're just going to copy the name dproto.dll. We're going to go back up to this line here, write a backslash, and add that to the end of the line. Then we're going to copy it all, all the way back to add ons. So now we're just going to go back a couple times. Okay, we actually want to find the metamod plugins.ini file. Okay, and we're going to go down the line, and we're going to type win32. Make sure you hit tab and not space. So tab should look like about three spaces altogether. And then at the end of that, you're just going to paste the add-ons slash dproto slash dproto.dll. This is just so that when the server does start, Metamod will access dproto all on its own. So we're just going to close that and save the changes. And we're going to go back to the C Strike folder. And we're going to take the dproto.cfg file and drop it into the Counter Strike folder. And because I'm a neat freak, I'm just going to arrange these by grid. So align them to the grid, that way they're not just all over the place. 
and now we're going to test this out. So we're just going to minimize my folder here with the add-ons. Going to go back to the front of the folder and open Half-Life Dedicated Server. So the only way to tell that this is working is to actually try to connect. So we're going to open Counter-Strike once again. And I'm just going to go back to the Half-Life Dedicated Server real quick. Copy the IP address. And we're going to open a console, connect, paste the IP address, and we should get in just fine. So as you can see, I'm now able to connect. So I'm just going to quickly go to the terrorist force. As you can see, my ping is only about 11, 12 at times. That's because you're actually playing from the same computer. And there's no lag issues, so that's good. So everything seems to be working fine, so we're actually just going to disconnect from here for now. And the next thing I'm going to show you isn't really necessary if you're just playing with your friends, but if you're actually trying to run a server, you might want to use this.